Uh, hi guys, welcome to my football brownie. Hope you're well, keeping safe. Keeping each other safe and spreading the love during this pandemic because we all need a little bit of loving, people. We all need a little bit of loving, and especially Christian Elson during this tough time for him and his family. Um, before I go any further, please like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to Football Brownie. I think we're on about 175 subscribers short of 1,000 now. Well on the road to 1,000. Let's hit that mark. Let's get the channel moder uh, moderized and... Uh, and let's build a community. Okay, uh, just a quick, uh, quick uh, upload, really, concerning uh, Peter Schmeichel's comments in regards to uh, the options, the three options in which UEFA put to the players after Christian Eriksen's uh, collapse uh, the other day. I uh, just watched this. Quote, official quote from UEFA yesterday saying that they were following the advice of the players. The players insisted on playing. I know that not to be the truth, uh, or it's how you how you see the truth. So when you, you they were left with three options. One was to play immediately uh, and, and get the last fifty minutes played. The next one was to 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 come in yesterday uh, at twelve noon and and finish the fifteen minutes or so the fifty minutes. And the third option was to forfeit the game and lose three 0 So you know. Work it out for yourself. Uh, is it is it the players wish to play? Did they have any choice really? Um, I don't think they had. And, and as you could hear from yesterday's press conference, the coach he, he seriously regrets um, putting the players back. Yes, on he the did. Pitch. He did say that, and it's a, it just shows it is. So there you have it. UEFA offered the players three different options. One was to restart the game straight away. The other one was to come in the following day, start at midday and play the remaining 50 minutes. And the third one was to forfeit the game, meaning that they would lose automatically 3-0. Am I surprised? No. I knew straight away that, uh, that the, the, the line of uh, the players um, uh, agreeing or the players wanting to uh, play the game, I knew that was an absolute bear, bear lie. I remember the same organisation, e.g. UEFA, pushing the players out in 1985 to play the, UEFA, uh, the European Cup final, what's now called the Champions League. We were dead bodies on the running track, covered, uh, covered with sheeting while the game was going on. I'm not an advocate of the, of the Super League. Far from it. I think the way they done it was underhanded and uh, it undermined the whole football structure within Europe. But you have about better be careful because this is once again another clear example why uh, the football community are losing patience with them. I'm actually dis disgusted with that. In my opinion, it should have been nil-nil. Uh, but, however, I do understand that you probably would need the agreement of the other two teams in that group, which are Belgium and Russia, uh, and uh, that may have been difficult. But to uh, basically threaten the players that if they don't, if they don't replay it, they're going to lose 3-0, I think is absolutely disgraceful. Anyway, let's see what you think in the comments below. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Guys, come on. We're on a road to a thousand. It's not long now. Let's have that one thousand subscriber party sooner rather than later. Hasta luego. Catch you later. Bye-bye.